Good morning, everybody. I'm Carol with Free Spirit Arts. Pull up a chair and let's play. Cheers. Yum. Okay, I'm still in this feather thing. Um, tips if you decide to do this. I showed how I painted some of these in a previous video, and I think I put it in the title, but <clears throat> this one I used uh, Distressed Crayon, and I, I really like how that turned out. These I used my watercolors, and mostly the um, Yakasomo, I think, or Yoko. Anyway, it's in the other video. Uh, when you do this, I should have saved one. When they dry, the feathers get hard and crusty, as you might imagine. And it really kind of looks pretty ugly. They all stick together close to the stem, and it looks pretty ugly. I tried several different methods. I took a paintbrush, a firm, I'll show you. I used one of these, and then I also used a smaller one that was ruined. I forgot to clean it, and, and so it had a hard bristles. It worked okay, but it didn't work great. So then I started using my fingers and my nails like this. That worked good, uh, or well, I should say, it worked well, except that it did pull some of the feathers out. Then I started using this. I had a bunch of new toothbrushes, and this one has different size bristles, and I think this is a soft one. I would recommend medium <laughs> if you're going to get a toothbrush. Let me turn my phone on. It worked great, and it brought back the fuzzy. See how it's taking the little crusty ends out? You kind of have to lay it parallel with the floor. I mean the desk. I guess the floor if you're doing it on the floor. The issue is it does take the little bit of the tips off, but it does bring back the fluffy, okay? So I've got these where I'm okay with them. They still have kind of a, I don't know, kind of a rustic sort of feel to them. I, you know, I'm okay with that. They feel, uh, handmade, um, boho. I mean, you can definitely tell that there's been some artistic endeavors. I like it. Um, I don't want them to look like they fell off a bird. This is my interpretation of the feathers, right? So, okay. And I don't want to beat them up. They're beautiful. All right, so. I wanted to doll them up a bit, and I thought about wrapping the bottom in kind of a macrame, and then doing some beadwork. But before I do that, because my ultimate vision for these is dangles in a book, or even on a cover, maybe you could just glue it down. I was at, um, where was I? I want to say Hobby Lobby, might have been Joanne's, I know I think this was Hobby Lobby. Oh, I should have opened these, I'll never get them open. Hmm. Yeah, that's probably not going to happen. Let's look and see what I've got in the way of weapons. Uh, 
I never read the instructions to open anything. I should because it's dangerous if you just make up your own. your own idea. But I, I don't know. And a lot of them don't have the instructions. So at last count, I don't know about right now, I didn't look, but um, the last time I checked, I had 499 subbies. I'm so excited. I'm getting these packets ready to mail and I will do Shoot. Hmm. Aha. I will do a giveaway. I've got my packets together, sort of. I'm still adding things to the giveaway packets. Well, I don't know if I want to take the time to do this, waste you guys' this time. And you guys all know I don't, I'm not, uh, I haven't learned how to edit. I tried. I can stop a video and, and start it and hook them together, but for some reason, my phone will not allow me to post to YouTube if I do that through iMovie. It won't do it through iMovie. Well, I guess we'll do this on another day. But anyway, this is what I was going to do. Hmm. Maybe I just take this off. See, this is how you cut yourself. I'll get it all done and then I'll see the little tab that says pull here. <laughs> I really wanted to use these, can you tell? I was just watching Gail. She's having, or was, she knows she films ahead, but she was having a hard day. She had to go get her real ID that that must be what they call it in Montana in Idaho we had to go get our star cards that's what they called them here and um, it's a, a universal ID that you have to um, go through a little bit of collecting your records and it's really kind of strange but Supposedly, it makes it so that people who aren't supposed to have IDs or people who should not be flying or whatever, it separates us from them, I guess. I don't know. I don't really know what the... Okay, I about, I about had that. I don't want to play with that anymore. Uh, okay, what I thought I would do is see about using these. It's Nuvo Crystal Drops. This color right here is, I don't know. Doesn't say. It doesn't have a number either. I do know that it doesn't take much to mess these up, so I meant I want to make sure that I this is what I want to do. I do store those drops upside down so that my theory is that they'll have less air in them when I go to use them. Let me 
it's wanting to go the opposite way. That's why it's sticking in the middle. I don't want to have to play with it after the drop is on there. Okay. So I kind of feel like I need to make sure that it can stay down. I'm going to leave it an odd number. Okay, there's one. I really like this. I'm not normally a pink person. I mean, I, you know, I, I do pink, but it's not my first color. I'm not worried about these sticking. Because I'm sure they will. That's cute. That's just cute right there. I wish I could get this open. Should have done it before I started the video. I'm sorry, guys. Hopefully, you'll be able to kind of see my vision. And if you decide to try something like this, you'll you can. I picked these up on. I know I picked them up on sale because I wouldn't have bought them otherwise. You know, they, it's like Fort Knox. Oh. Frustrating. Okay, now let's try. Hmm. I wish these had color names on them, but they don't that I can see. Oh yes, they do. This says Crystal Drops Silver Lining. This one is covered up. And so is this one. I think I got these from scrapbook.com. Try not to drag. Let's see, what else? What other color? I like the idea of blue. I think I really like the idea of white. Maybe in between there. I like to squeeze out a little bit just to make sure I don't have an air bubble there. If you have an air bubble then when you go to squeeze it, it'll go plop. And you don't want it to do that. I 
I'm liking where we're going. Now, do I want to do another? Can you see it? Let me hold it up so you can see it. How's that? Definitely like it closer together. Now, what could I do from here to the top? This is looking a little bit too yellow, so I don't think I want to use any more of that. Really like this, how it looks. So let's let's continue with that. Dirty name. Okay, I think what I better do, can you see how it went off? I'm gonna leave it and then I'm gonna take it off after it dries. But I'm learning that as you get into the top of the feather, the stem is so skinny it doesn't grab the drops as fast. So lesson learned. Also, I'm, I want these to be closer together. I wonder if I can put a silver in here. By George, I can. Hope you guys aren't looking at the top of my head. Sorry. Today is Sunday. And, um... I'm having fun. I uh, we it's so smoky here. I just saw a gap somewhere. Where was? It? Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, so smoky. We had some plans and we've changed plans. Decided it's going to be an inside kind of day. Oh, that is. <laughs> I got drops on me. Um, you guys, you gotta do this. Now these feathers are gonna be in the giveaway. So if you get one, you'll be able to see closer. And then you can adjust it and change it or decide, you know, I don't like, pardon me, I don't like that or whatever. There is more of a stem up here. I just don't, yeah, I don't think I better do that. I'm wondering about this though. I think I'm gonna leave it because I would still like to be able to um, tie something pretty there, whether it be fishing line first and then wrap it with maybe some hand spun yarn or something. We'll see. Here's the piece that I, I sure wished I could get those open. This is the, can you see it? Yeah, that I originally did the feathers on, which by the way, look how pretty that is. When I do these feathers again, I'm gonna do it on some cardstock because that's a waste of pigment. It's beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna lay this right here 
and get it out of my way. This blue one just turned out beautiful. I love, love it. It is um, blue, green, and purple. Can you see? Yeah, those paints were just the perfect fit. Ooh, baby blue. Then I've got this, I've got several greens. That might be a little much, we'll see. I do have this, it is Pale gold? Eh, no. So we might have to go with that green that I have there because I think those two are the same and the only other one I have is this one. Actually, that might go. Okay, we'll see. Wished I had another dark blue. No. No, 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 no. Okay. I love this. You don't have to do every other. You know, you could make a pattern. Blue, green, white, blue, green, white, or blue, blue, green, white, white, or, you know, whatever. Be a free spirit. Jump in. Look at that, you guys. It's awesome. I'm, st <laughs> I'm staring at these, these little gems, and it's driving me nuts. I so bad wanted to use them so bad. I was waiting to use them until I could show you guys what I got. <laughs> I did. I need to put them away because they're driving me crazy. Let's do silver. No. Actually, Grandma, yeah, let's do. Oh, that was a perfect fit. It is important not to do it from the side like I just did, though. Do it from the top. Nice. I forget I have these. A lot of them I've never used. And when I was thinking about decorating these feathers, I was like, well, let's use, uh, I'll just go get my little beads. Cause you know, I have those jars of beads, which I might grab actually. Um, and then, you know, I, I just thought, what else can you use? What do you have that you don't use? And I remembered I had these Nuvo drops. That one, I don't know if I can get it to move over. Probably not. It's just gonna have to be. Usually, if you make a boo-boo, or you think you have a boo-boo, and you try to change it, you regret it. So, Sometimes, with stuff like this especially, it's best to just let go. Let it be. That's cute. That's pretty. Okay, let's do green. Now, which do we want? I really like this one. And I don't have purple. I don't even have anything I could make purple with. So, we'll have to... Ad lib. It 
it does bring out the green. Let me show you. I'm nervous about this because lifting it because the feathers are so light. Oh, I don't want them to blow all over. Catch a good draft and go plunk upside down. Hmm. Okay, so maybe what's the constant? Blue? Yeah, but that's not that doesn't I don't want to do that. Let's do silver. Silver's close. A scrapbooker or a card maker would probably be better at this. I am not proficient at using these drops. I really, really like that. Now, the tip is purple. So, sew your buttons. I have pink. I have this. Huh. Purple is red and blue. Huh. Boy, I don't I don't think I can even come close. So I think that would be too much. Let's just do silver. We'll just do a solid silver. I realize you guys are probably looking at the bottom of this. Bottle. Going, Carol, we can't see anything, but I don't know any other way to do it. Oh, shoot. See where this went over? I'm just going to leave it. I'm not going to try to play with it because it'll smear all over the feathers. Just going to leave it. When it dries, I'll just pop it off and that'll be the end. Okay. So this is the finished. You see? Let's see if we can move it. I could put something right here. Wouldn't that be pretty? Maybe, maybe when it dries. Okay, what about this guy here? This is so boho. Let's use this. No, 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 no. Let's use gold. And, you know, I do have, I don't know if these are any good anymore. I'm going to turn them upside down and see if I can get them to run down. There's this, too. Oh, yeah. What is this? This is Copper Penny. I think I did get these at scrapbook.com when they were having some kind of a special or a Christmas sale or something, I'm sure. I, um, I really kind of have a rule that I don't buy anything unless it's a good deal. And by good deal, I mean like it's hard to find, and I finally found one, or it's buy one, get one free, or, you know, on sale, something like that. Or, like, I was watching Tammy Van, Der, Van Antwerp. And she made the most gorgeous fall 
envelopes and pockets and things with Tim Holtz Distressed Inks Oxides. The colors, oh, Tammy, they were beautiful. And uh, I'm assuming they're going to get really popular, like now. Oh, you guys, look at that. see it oh it's just gorgeous I want something right here it needs to be blue but that's kind of baby blue and I don't like that it does kind of match sort of what if I did silver what if I just did nothing let's just hold off I kind of like that the way it is if I had some browns, it would be nice, but, oh gosh, that's gorgeous. I can't leave it alone. I'm going to do some more. Anyway, uh, I went to Hobby Lobby the other day, and I bought the carved pumpkin distress ink pad because I'm assuming it they're going to be real popular here real, pretty quick. That's beautiful. Oh, I love it. Look, guys. Mm. I don't have anything that even comes close to this. This won't do. Because it's this. And I need like a soldier blue. I may have some beads or something. We'll see. But for now, I'm going to set it over here. Okay, now what you got? This one is white and purple. Oh, is that so sweet? So sweet. Hmm, white and purple. So I could do. Oh, there's a piece I forgot. Can you see it? It's kind of. It's kind of all crunchy and curled up. Hold on. You wouldn't be able to do this after you get these little bead things on here. So let's get it done now. We looked at some beautiful homes on the Parade of Homes. I talked about it on my last video, I think. It's where you get to go see brand new built homes. Some of them are sold, so people live there. And then others are um, for sale. And, um, you know, they doll them all up. They, they look perfect. Nothing's out of place. There's no clutter. And you leave there feeling like your house is a pigsty. <laughs> There's not a scrape on the paint. Nothing, you know. But, um, no, they're beautiful. And, and there's a lot of neat design ideas. Really neat design ideas. And that's why I go. I love looking at the new... The new um, ways to save space and color combinations and wall textures and it seems like we're always doing something construction wise so that's great we saw some beautiful 
beautiful homes. Open concept is where it's at. I think all of them were open concept designs. Yeah, they were. And, you know, that can be a design nightmare. Okay. All right, I like it. Now, what do I want to do with it? Maybe just white. How about that? Let me look at the other ones. I like the silver. So silver would be beautiful. Let's just do silver. And then something on the tip. Not sure what's going on with that wild feather. I may have to cut it off. Hate to do that, but if it's not going to behave itself, it's gone. That's beautiful. So anyway, these homes were um, gorgeous. Gray is on its way out, which is a little sad because I just painted gray. <laughs> I'm a little late to the game. They say farmhouse is on its way out, but I just caught on to that. So... I don't have a whole house full of farmhouse, though, thank God. Let's see. I don't know about that. I'm thinking white, silver and white. Let's try that. Great big giant sectionals. So soft, you just, you know, you just want to lay down. Gorgeous flooring. Oh my gosh. Glass tile flooring and um, black iron railing with. Uh oh. What do you think I could get? No. Leave it alone, Carol. Go back later. Yeah, there was some neat ideas. I. I got some ideas. We've got some stuff we've got to do to our house. So, yeah, it gave me some ideas. Now, there's no reason you could not take beads or these drops or something out this way. You, I think you absolutely could. I bought this tool because I thought, oh, that's something you need to have. Well, I don't know how to use it. I have tried to use it. Hmm. I know it's actually meant for picking up Huh, that actually worked. Can you see? I don't dare pick it up just yet. Yeah, it's made for picking up gems, but I've never really been able to gracefully pull that off. That's beautiful. Very simple. So, if you have used one of these successfully and you can tell me what it's supposed to do. When I first got it, I thought, well, there, these must screw off and you can use those. No, that doesn't happen. I know these just pick up the gems, but is that just to push them around? It doesn't come off. 
it's really pretty. <laughs> I don't know what, I don't know how to use it. So if you know how to use it, do a video on it for me, would you? Oh, do you want to see that? I like the tip the best. So here's what we have. Well, I won't lift those up just yet. Uh, so did I finish my sentence? If you've ever made a video for YouTube, I know you know what it's like to start a conversation and then forget what you're doing because you get sidetracked by your crafty. Um, one thing I did want to just mention, because it really upset me. I, um, one of the YouTubers that really influenced me early on was, um, I'm not going to use that yet. I'm just going to do silver, I think. Um, Genevieve Designs. It's J-A, or no, J-E-N-O-E-V-E. -E -E. Genevieve Designs. She has a completely different way of doing journals and books. She creates, I can't remember what she calls them, templates. And she makes books that you can buy and print out yourself that are basically the tutorial for whatever template she's doing. Like if she's doing a baby book or Christmas book or I've talked about the glassing bag um, project. I, I bought that on her Etsy page. And, um, oh, it was fun. She has a completely, she's good at math, and she so she does a lot of measuring, and everything is very precise. And, and her products are beautiful. I mean, very, very nice. Lots of very unique little pockets and she is a magnet queen she loves magnets and she has a design style that anybody that's into art can really appreciate um i watched her the other night and it brought me to tears She apparently, if I understood the video right, she has lost two sons. And her, she had, I, if I understood it right, her, she had a son also that just recently moved off to college. So, you know, she's missing him and she's upset and whatever like we all would be, but she was talking about that one of the people, someone on her channel, apparently she's been getting some bad comments about stupid stuff, but she was talking about one in particular where somebody had the gall to tell her that she was taking too long, or no, what was it, that wasn't it, that was another person, this was that, um, does she ever do anything besides, <coughs> sorry, besides these templates that she sells. And I guess the comment was rude. <coughs> but 
pardon me. Oh, why would somebody say that? No, she has an Etsy page. She spends countless amounts of days and nights and late nights and hours and hours and hours developing her own designs. No, she, she doesn't. That's her business. But apparently they were mad because she didn't do anything that she doesn't sell her. Uh, it just boggles the mind. <laughs> just be nice. So she was in tears and I just felt horrible. Um, I have seen lately people on their channels talking about and crying because people are criticizing them. Like Rachel said something the other day. Gail has said things in the past as well about, you know, people being rude, thinking they have some sort of self-imposed entitlement to tell you, <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, if you get a minute to go over to Genevieve Designs and show her some love, I think, I think she'd appreciate that. There you go. Okay, on this one I want to try something really out of the box. So I want to do, let's do this, and this, and this. Let's, let's start with that. Let's see, let's do this first. I don't know if I'll be able to pull this off like I have it in my head, we'll see. Oops. Gonna go a little bolder. And thank you to all the people that have gone over to my friend, Two and a Half Mile Arts, and made purchases. They have started engraving these super awesome steel tumblers. They're so cool. They're really hefty. Uh, Susan was the gal that I went to the Parade of Homes with and she had a tumbler. They're like indestructible. I mean, they're, they're really substantial. And they're engraving on wood. I picked up a couple of items. Oh, they're gorgeous. Um, let's see, let's do this. Now I know I gotta get purple. Who knew I would like purple so much, but apparently I do. We're gonna go all out, or all in, whatever. So the magic word for this video, because I may use this video to pick a winner for the giveaway, the magic word is NUVO, N-U-V-O. So comment, do a thumbs up, 
and put Nuvo in your comment. Oh, <laughs> so cute. <laughs> yeah, it's cute. Okay, so we have pink, blue, silver, pink, let's do blue, I just heard my husband come in. I wonder if he'll check that pork roast I've got in the crock pot. Do you think he will? No. He trusts me. Um, pink, blue, silver. But that's not all we're going to do. So I'm going to take some of this gold or what? It, what is it? I don't even know. What is it? It is Auburn Pearl. It's pretty. I'm not sure I like that. Let's just see. Hmm. Okay. It's not bad. I'm watching a series on, oh shoot, on um, Netflix called In the Dark. Definitely has adult content. Okay, I gotta leave that alone. Um, so it has adult content, and uh, I love it. It's great. It uh, it's about a gal who is blind. It has some real funny stuff. <clears throat> really fast moving. Yeah, I like it. It's binge worthy. If you're looking for something to, oh, I actually, that doesn't look bad, actually. Actually, okay. You know what? I really like that. This. I'm going to see if I can do it again. <laughs> I don't know if I can. Well, looky there. That's exactly what I was going for, but I didn't know it. Oh, that is beautiful. Where's my silver? Let's do that.
in my brain, when I got the idea to do this to this feather, it just happened a few minutes ago, in my brain, I was thinking boho, Mandela, you know, that kind of thing. That, so that's, I don't know if that gives you a picture of what I'm going for. I wish you guys could see this close up. It's beautiful. It needs a contrast. There's silver and goldish. Now it needs hmm, it needs like a what about this? really needs purple. I'm, I don't want a pattern. I'm just kind of freehanding what feels right. Oh my gosh, y'all. That is something you guys need to do. See it? Can you see it? I hope you can. Yeah, I love it. Okay, so here we go. Here's all silver and crystally white. This one is blue and white. This one is gold and it's this. What was this called? Oh, we never, oh yeah, we did find out. What's it called? Metallic pale gold. This one pink and silver and white. This one, silver, blue, white, blue, green, silver. What do you think? All right, guys, don't forget the magic word because it's not gonna be long. And I'm gonna show you the packets and we're gonna do giveaways. I'll probably do, I won't do them all at once, I don't think. Um, just because it'll be funner to do maybe one every few days during the month, just to celebrate. This was really fun. Highly recommend. That's my favorite. I wonder if I can move it. Yeah. But I'm not going to. Because it smears. Okay, I'm going to call this a video, y'all. Thank you so much for all your support. I'm having a ball meeting you all and getting to know you and getting to subscribe to your channels and learn how you do things. And This is a great community. I really love all the people that I've met and everybody's been so nice. So I hope you like this. I hope you'll jump in and do some feathers. If you win a giveaway, you're going to get some of these plain feathers. And you will also get a decorated feather, uh, probably. I'm going to do the packets up. Probably today or tomorrow. I've got a big basket over there full of stuff. All right. Let's all take care of each other. Bye.